Hello my loves, good morning and welcome to this brand new day. Today I woke up with a lot of hopes and happiness and I'm looking forward to having a great day ahead. This is my age old habit of studying every morning. I inculcated this habit into my timetable at a very young age. Today is a Monday and I don't have classes on Mondays because I go to college only on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But there are a few events at college today and I'm going to attend those because it's necessary to explore other things alongside studies when you are a part of a big institution and, and I don't want to miss out on anything uh, during my time at King's here. To reach my King's campus which is located at Strand, I take bus number 87 to Aldwych. I deboard the bus at Aldwych which is the last stop and it takes me about 2-3 to three minutes to get into the campus. Today I'm going to the Bush House because I have the event starting at 2 p.m. but it's currently 12.25 so I'm just going to go to the activity room on the 8th floor in the southwest wing of the Bush House and spend some time studying there. The Meadow is one of the activity rooms in the Bush House which is a very relaxing place for people to either study or work or do group study or just relax because there's no one would judge you even if you're sleeping over there because they've got quilts and cushions and bean bags where you can just chill and relax in between classes. I completed studying one module this morning and now I'm completing another one. I don't have much time left um, so I'll just quickly grab my lunch and then I rush downstairs to attend the event. I cooked some pokkumbap for myself which is obviously a vegan version. I got all the Korean ingredients again, those who are also vegan. Um, I'm not completely a vegan because I consume dairy and lactose, but to describe myself as someone who doesn't take eggs because I don't consume non-vegetarian food, I don't consume meat, I need to describe myself as a vegan because egg comes under the vegetarian uh, food over here so I just describe myself as vegan. This event took place at another activity room called the studio and to reach the studio you have to walk through this cafeteria called the shack which is again another area for students to work or study or group study and also get some food um so this event is all about well-being for students um it took place because the well-being week organized by the kclsu or the king's college london students union has started as a place where the students can go and talk and feel good and it's all about self-love First toll was by the positive pairs where the students can just go and talk and just feel relaxed or release their stress and, and can just discuss about their problems and, and just lighten up their mood. These people also gave me some goodies like two notebooks and two new pencils. Also got my picture clicked and there was another stall by the Students Union President Zara where she was offering free pizza and giving goodie bags which had stationery and cookies and all you have to do is just write on a piece of paper what you want them to do for you and just drop it in the drop box over there. The girls at this stall gave me some cute cards uh, to write some notes to myself. 
At the stall, there was a board um, in the shape of a telephone booth, which asks you the favorite place for you to go in London to relax. And I just wrote London Eye because it's really peaceful to look at. It's really aesthetic and beautiful. And all I did was just stick it over there on that uh, beautiful telephone booth box that they had prepared. She also gave us this dried lavender which you can put either inside your pillows or your cupboard for, because they smell amazing and uh, you'll always have some nice smell in your room. I'm now walking to the Mon Library which belongs to King's College London and it's just a seven minute walk from this Strand campus. Uh, I need to pick up some books and I'm, I'm just going to take you inside the library. <laughs> To the left of the street, you can see the Royal Court of Justice, which comes on the way to the Mon Library. This is the Mon Library. Look at the architecture. It's so much detailed. It's so vintage, so English. I mean, what could be more English than these chairs down these trees where you can just sit down, relax, and just read? I mean, this reminds me of Isaac Newton, and I can think and relate of why he discovered and how he discovered the law of gravity. I'm now setting down for some library search because it makes the work too easy because uh, it's very difficult to find your books in a huge library like the Mon. so I'm just looking for the rooms where I can find the books that I need. So we are given the books and the articles that we need to read as a part of the core reading and the additional readings for our modules and these copies are also made available to us online through our uh, student learning portal but I prefer books because if I have a library facility given to me by the college then why not? <laughs> This is the room on the second floor where almost always and usually the geography books are kept and I hope to find the ones that I need here. I mean, one of them is in this room and the other one is in another section, another room. I mean, I, I never went there but I have because I've always picked up my books from this room. So come on, let's check out. Oop, I found one and I'm walking to the another room to find the second book that I need. This is the checkout process of the books that I need to borrow and I already have two books that I've borrowed previously. Oh, that's done!
I'm now walking to the Holborn Circus to pick up some stationery from WH Smith. So the nearest one to the Mon Library is this one located at Holborn. Uh, trust me when I say this, they have got some amazing stationery items and I do get a student discount every time. <laughs> I just arrived at WH Smith and there's this thing that I have noticed in England is that they have this huge collection of greeting cards in shops like Sainsbury's or White Rose or Boots or uh, WH Smith. I mean, I'm so surprised to know that the gifting culture of, of the greeting card still exists here in the England. I mean, it's so so nice to receive cards and these are so beautiful I and mean, i've never seen such beautiful cards and and nowadays hardly you'd find anyone who would gift you cards and these are so pretty i feel like buying those and gifting myself some <laughs> So I picked up two notebooks and one pack of glue sticks from the Blue Red Smith and now it's time to go back home. taking a bus back home and we've almost come to the end of this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that really helps me a lot gain more subscribers and more people who are interested in such content i'll see you next time with a new video till then take care and bye bye